chose to be a helper Cause I do not know what future holds for me Whichever way and come what may I know I won't regret anything It doesn't matter what they say I do not want to know what they say I just to follow what my heart tells me Cause I know it is a direction from the Lord Oh, 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 oh. This is so tasty. I'm happy you like it. Mm? Uh -huh. I don't know how you make this thing. Hey, 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 hey. There's one. My son will finish eating. After he gets married to you, oh well, well, well he will just burst. Everywhere will become scatter, scatter. Mama, mm. you started though. What have I done? Such a man and I are just friends. And a man, I need a see. Very tasty. Oh, they call some lady, Lizzy. Yeah, Mama. Mama, mm. 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 it's okay, sorry. It's water. Thank you. You must stop talking. You know there is pepper in it. Hmm? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Good. Yeah, I saw you with one fair guy a couple of minutes ago and I was calling you. Does it does it mean you didn't hear me? When did you get back? Oh, I got back today, just now, not too long. I even stopped by the house and your mom said you went out. Yes. Um okay, go home. I'll come and see you later so we'll talk. Oh I don't understand. You know I actually came back to the village because of you. And uh, there's a lot we need to talk about. We need to see, we need to sit, we need to talk. Yes. We need to talk about a lot actually, but just go home, we'll talk later. You know, I actually came back because we'll of you and you know that. I'm back. Any problem? Um, Chinedu just left here a few minutes ago. Oh, I saw him on my way back. 
You saw him? Mm. Okay. Mama. Now that Chinedu is back, and you are still close to Sochim, how are you going to handle it? What will you do? Mama, I don't, I don't understand what you mean by what will I do. Chinedu left me for years. Now I found love in Sochima. I will simply just tell him. You know what, Mama? I think I should just go now and explain everything to him once and for all. Now? Yes, 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 Mama. Right away. Let me just go. Please take it easy, yo. Una anu kwa logo. Inuga. Okay, uh, guy, the meeting, no, that won't be possible today. Yes. I went to the village and I won't be coming back until, let me say, three days time. Yes, in three days time I'll be back. Yeah. Oh, listen, let me call you back. My wife to be just... just All right, thank you. I'll call you. Oh. Hi. Hi. You came this early. I, I never expected you. Yes, that's because... There is an emergency. We need to talk about something urgent. Um, why don't we go inside? Uh, no, we, we can talk about it here. It's fine. Uh -huh. You're not looking bright. Is anything the matter? Are you okay? Um, maybe you see, it's it's um it's it's unfortunate that you had to come back this time. Eh? You stayed for for too long. And this period of time, I found and fell in love with someone else. I have moved on. And I would like you to move on too. Don't tell me it's that Rifra. That poor wretched guy I saw you with a few minutes ago is the person you are. You move on with because I will not accept it. I wouldn't. I won't take it. Yes, he's Richard. But his heart is not Richard. He's a very good person. Nidu, please. I would like you to move on. I only came here to tell you that the agreement we had about waiting for each other and marrying each other will no longer hold because I have moved on. But we could still be friends. If there is anything at all you want me to do for you, anything, so long it has nothing to do with marriage, you can count on me. Oh, Biko, I'll be going now, and I wouldn't want you to follow me. Please. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm delim. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. No, wake up, wake up, wake up. So she actually left me for that poor Richard guy. No, no, I must be dreaming. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you. I'm very surprised. I didn't know you would accept me as your son-in-law. I don't have anything to say. If Ukendelema accepts to marry you, I will not say no. Yes. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm still very surprised. I mean, some, some mothers won't accept me because they know I'm from a poor background. Like I said before, I am not the one you are getting married to. If Mkem Delim accepts to marry you, I will not object. I will not say no. Thank you very much, ma'am. 
I promise to to be a good son-in-law. Amen. No, I will inform her uncle. Okay. Uh, yes, so that he will be aware. Uh, he will be the one to inform you on when to come with your kinsmen. No problem. Thank you very much. Ah, it's okay. Don't do that. Thank you. Mom. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Work on a second. You are welcome. Thank you, Nine. Uh, you said you want to see me, and it's very important. So, what is it? Uh, yes, Nine. Um, a man is coming from Kemdeling's hand in marriage. So I decided to come and inform you about it. Mm. That's good news. Yes, ma'am. So who is this young man and where is he from? Uh, Nani, his name is Sochima. He's from Umuama village. Yeah. It's a lie. It's not possible now. Is it not that Sochima whose mother has been sick? Who cannot even take care of his mother herself? Is it not the same boy? That village boy? You are right, Inna. He's the one. <laughs> it's not possible, my dear. You came there and cannot get married to such village poor boy. But you why you accepted it? Look, do you want to die a poor woman? Look, let me tell you, in case you are not educated about this boy's lifestyle or his family, this such amount of a boy that your daughter is thinking is the best. He's a very poor village man whose mother has been sick for years and he has not been able to give his mother a good medication. Cannot afford a good medication for the mother. Only God knows whether the mother will even survive or die in the, in, in, in the near future. But I must tell you this. That boy, maybe your daughter did not tell you well about who the boy is because they want to paint a picture to you that the boy is good, is that, is this. Let me tell you the real truth. That boy has no future. Are you hearing me? That boy has no future. So if you are thinking of a thing like that, forget it completely. In fact, I'm disappointed that you are saying a thing like this. Well, I will not blame you much. Maybe you are not aware. So the only thing I must tell you, you who have been coming to me to ask for a, a pain cup of gari to feed yourself and your daughter, an opportunity has come for you to make words, to live a better life in the future. You are allowing your daughter to go to a riffraff, a man who does not have a future. Please think well. This is an opportunity for you to get a rich man who will take care of your future for you. Do I make myself clear? Uh, anyway, tell Nkendiru to come and see me. It's Let's okay, man. I've heard you. I will tell Nkendrim to come and see you. Uh, but please, take it easy, oh. Take it easy with her, please. You see, uh, whatever the situation, like I said, that boy is a deceiver and cannot marry my daughter. So take note of that. One. It's okay, now. One call. It's okay. That's a pity. I cannot live to see such a boy marry my daughter. It's not possible. Number. Mama, you mean my uncle refused to accept Sochima? Why? Huh? He said Sochima will not take good care of you. That he comes from a very poor background. He even demands to see you. My mm. uncle shouldn't do this. He shouldn't do this now. Sochima is the man I want to marry. We will be fine. I think you should go and see your uncle. First thing tomorrow morning, go to his house. Hmm? Okay. Mm. I'll do as you have said.
This marriage is no, no for me. Why? Hmm. You see, your father died a poor man. But if not for the railway job that I was doing there, I wouldn't have been able to take care of you, your mother, and my two daughters. And maybe you wouldn't have been able to see this such a boy that you are saying you want to get married to now. Because probably you would have died long before now and forgot to. So why bother your head about issues like that? Forget this marriage. It's not your person. Please. I appreciate everything you have done for us. But Sochima is the man I love. I want to marry him. Allow me to marry him. Bikono. You see, there's this young man in the city called Nedu who wants to get married to you. But the problem I have is the nature of business he's doing in the city. And if I find out and the business is genuine, you have no reason whatsoever. You must marry him. Money is not everything. Shut up. Who said that? Who told you that money is not everything? What do you know about money? Look, let me tell you this. If you get married to Nedu, there is every likelihood that your sisters might stumble into those these, uh, rich friends as well and get married to them. Won't you, won't you be happy? Well, Uncle, I am sorry to disappoint you. I will marry Sochima. Sochima is the man I will marry. I must marry him. You dare not. You dare not. If that is the man that you think your destiny lies. So this is how you and your mother want to pay me back all that I've spent on you. Is that not? To get married to a boy who cannot even take care of his, his himself? Cannot afford three square meals daily? Is that the man you want to get married to? You better think. What oh, sense? People are thinking of better things in life. You are thinking of getting married to one wretched, wretched fool. Don't let me get angry with you. I beg to you. He refused. Listen, if God wants us to be together, nothing can stop it. Okay? It's just that my uncle has really been good to us all these years. And I don't know how to argue with him on this. It's so hard. I will speak to him. No, I, I, I don't want you to go over there. He will say something to annoy you and I don't want that. Don't worry, I'll, 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 I'll speak to him. I promise you do that. Huh? Yeah. How about we go together? Maybe. Do, do, do you want us to go together? If that's what you want, that, that's okay. We can talk to him. I, I believe everything is going to be fine. Yeah? I think so. Yes. So. Um, how about Mama? Mama, she, she, she's sleeping. Let me see her. You won't see her? Okay. You are that poverty smelling boy that wants to ruin my daughter's life. Eh? That riffraff without a background. Eh? Oh, but. But, sir, I only said I want to get married to her. It doesn't mean I'll make her suffer. Oh, yes. Exactly that's what you will do. Because what you are going to do is to increase our vegetable business for fufu. That is, you are adding fufu to the vegetable business. No, no, sir. That, that, I... Yeah. Oh, uncle, Uncle, you... Sochima is a, is, a, is a very young, hard-working man. A very hard-working man. He, he has dreams. You really do not know where you are going into it. You are going into hellfire. Hell, that is where you are going into. Sir, please, sir, sir, please. Will you shut up? Just be quiet and listen to me. These three girls that, the, that God has given to me, 
you cannot come and ruin their lives for me. Because I can see now that you have come to ruin that of uh, uh, Kendilin, which I will not allow you to do. So please, carry your dirty legs and leave my house now. Hey, Uncle Banubutu, no, calm down. Uncle, mm -mm, you cannot seem to live like that. You can't send him away like that. See yourself, talk. It's okay, I'm here. Huh? Thank you, sir. Yes, please do. Oh, God rescue us. Where are you going? Oh, yes. God will help you if only you pray hard. Because heaven help those who help themselves. You cannot expect my daughter to marry somebody who at the end of the day, my grandchildren will begin to feed on Gary morning, afternoon, and night. While their mates and their father's house is eating balanced diets. But they love themselves. They are in love. Does love exist any longer? Eh? What are you saying, love? Look, there is no love when there is no money. Let me tell you. Papa Sachima. Bia, 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 bia. I am not in the mood to sit right now. I have come to see you personally so that we can talk as two adults. Now, I want you to tell your son, in fact, warn him to stay clear from my daughter. Very far from her. You see, and if I eventually hear that they got married, either by hook or crook, what I will do to him, he will not like it because if yes, yeah, they will marvel. Amazi, take it easy now. We are not quarreling. Oh, we are. You don't know we are quarreling. Oh. Poverty. Hit poverty. And what do you think? What do you think will be the resultant effect of such situation? Year in, year out, you are sick. A sickler, that's, that's who you are. Eh? If you your son have money, you would have been taking care of all his wife. But because of poverty. Look at your situation. Won't you be happy if your son eventually gets married to a rich girl? A girl from a rich family who can consider your health situation and take you to the city for proper medication and get you out of this mood that you are now. Because right now you do not know whether you're going to survive or die. I will. I will tell my son when he comes back. What you say? You better tell him. Tell him because the next time I will set my eyes on him, getting close to my daughter, he will not like the other side of me. She won't win yet. No fire. This is serious. She won't win yet. Did he call me a sicker? Mama, did you say he came here today? He came here ranting and shouting. Oh, back. He said you should leave in Kendelime alone. Eh? Yeah, me call me Allah. Because I don't have money. Yes, because I don't have money. That's the only reason why he would do that. No, cancel this marriage. If you ask me. Forget it, no. But when you have a wedding. Mama, cancel the marriage. Why? Yes, sir. If you don't have the money, then you give it. I mean, if one member of their family doesn't get on with you, then you should cancel it. No, so can they wait in a week or can I couldn't meet it a week But Mama, he's the only one making noise. Her family accepted me already. Hey, Mom. There's something you should know about marriage. Marriage is no child's play. I mean, look at you. The minute you start having problems with someone in the family because you don't have money, up up a serious problem. So I would suggest that you just go make money first before you start thinking of settling down. Mama, I love him, Kim. <laughs> and I don't think I can live with another woman. Okay. So why do I'm you sorry. love? Okay, love. Is it that love puts you into trouble 
on a long valla for time. Either or. You so bad, if you say it's love, stay there. Stay there and I don't want anyone coming here harassing my only child. My only son, my only son, only child. I travel to Mudiakaka. Let peace reign. Wait, you mean my uncle came to warn Mama yesterday about this issue? Yes. Hi. What is wrong with this uncle of mine? What, what is all this? Eh? Is he the one to tell me who to marry? I, I, at this point, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I don't know. You know? Hmm? Don't be confused. It's not even as if he has the right to decide on this matter. He has he, he doesn't have the right. He's not my father. His decision is not final. Really? Yes. The eldest person in my family has the final decision. And the eldest person in my family is Diopa. Maybe if we go to see Diopa now, he will help us. Hmm? Eh. Yes. Hey. I, I, I pray he accepts. Because I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you too. I love you so much. I love you too. Are, are you sure? Yes. Should we go now? Yes, let's eh? go now. Are you sure? Mm. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Nkendilim, what do I owe this August visit? Um, Papa, I know you are surprised to see me. Yes, very much surprised. I am very much surprised. Oh, it's about my uncle, Chukulotam. Oh, Chukulotam. Yes, yes. What about him? Um, Papa, this young man here, his name is Sochima. He is asking for my hand in marriage. But my uncle will not hear of it. He's against it. His reason is that, that he's poor, that he doesn't drive a big car, and he does not live in the city, so we shouldn't marry. Is that his reason for rejecting him? So that has been a problem for us. Judging from what both of you have just told me, I think you will go. Let me take my time and call him immediately so that I will hear his own side of the story. But if what you've just told me is the truth, he has no right to stop the marriage. He cannot. Um, thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you, sir. Um, uncle, yes. we have to be on our way. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank Hello? you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You are material. You can't do that. 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 You can't do You see that boy very well? When he came to your place. Yes, I did. did. Didn't you see him looking like a very hungry man? And that boy cannot take care of our daughter. Didn't you see it? Are you done? Okay. I saw the boy. Quite well. One. He's not hungry looking. He is handsome. He is hardworking. He worked for me and I paid him. Secondly. That reason you are advancing is not good enough to stop them from getting married. Money is not everything in life. Hey, stop it there. 
Stop it. Stop it. Money is everything. Look, let me tell you. Won't you be happy if your daughter gets married to a wealthy man and changes your lifestyle? Look how you are looking for now. If you get your daughter married to a wealthy man, you cannot be looking like this. Look, not this charlatan of a boy that you call a man who cannot even afford three square meal in a day. Really? Hi, Joba. Well, calm down. He has not gotten to that. If, God knows, maybe I'm wrong. It's only God that knows why in Kendilim decided to fall in love with that young man. And if God decides that they are going to live as husband and wife, we can't stop them. You can't stop them. <laughs> so please, <clears throat> call them. Bless them. Don't stop their marriage. If they are destined to be husband and wife, you can't stop them. I can't stop them either. So, Oh, so you are now a seer that can see the destiny of people, isn't it? Now, let me tell you, you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with that marriage. But let me tell you, I will not be there to collect the bride price and let nobody expect to see me there on that day. Okay. And let me inform you, I'm not a soothsayer or a messiah. I'm not in touch with that with you. Tomorrow is pregnant and nobody can foretell what it's going to give us. Consider that. Tell me something else. Don't come before you. I'm surprised. You went to report this matter to Joppa. You had the guts, the tenerity to do that. Something that is on my table that I was handling. When you were growing up and I was paying your school bills, all your fees, where was Joppa? Did you complain to him? When your mother was even sick and I took care of her hospital bill, did you complain to Joppa? What about when you, were, when you went under an operation and I took care of that medical bills, did you also complain to Joppa? At what point has Joppa even rendered help to you right from when you were born till date? What help? You had the guts to carry issues that have been on my table that I'm handling to, to report to so-called Joppa of, your, of yours. You surprised me. I must tell you. Uncle, Uncle, I'm very sorry. I, I didn't mean it that way. It's just that I needed someone to talk to about the matter. Oh, you needed someone to talk to. Your sisters are there. You couldn't talk to them. Even your mother is there, you couldn't talk to her. The best person you saw that you can talk to is Joppa, isn't it? No problem at all. It's okay, but note it from today that the battle line between you and I is drawn. They beg you, they beg you to find a place in your heart to accept Sochima. He's the man I want to marry, he's the one I love. I cannot marry another. Look, okay. I am not against whoever you want to get married. You say that is the person your heart beats for. Fine, it's okay by me. But notice that you have already disobeyed. Please. I don't want you to see it as me being disobedient. You know I am not a disobedient child. I have never been. Please. Suchima is very young. He's, he, he, he may not have money right now, but he's doing well. He will grow. Tomorrow will be better. Before no, go. Oh, yes. 
tomorrow will be better, right? No problem. It's okay by me. You can go ahead and marry him because tomorrow will be better. But nobody should invite me because I will not come. It's just like saying my own father would not attend my traditional marriage. Oh, please, please, just, I beg you, just do this one for me. You will not regret it. Please. Cry will not solve this problem. Cry will, look, let me tell you, I am not against whoever you want to get married to at all. I am in support of anything you want to do to yourself. What? Let the gods hear it. That I will not. Mado Abura Chuku, it you want with Cosia Don't conclude before your time. I am tired. I'm tired of begging my uncle. He doesn't want me to marry Sochima, and it, it bothers me. Follow your heart. If Sochima is the man you want to marry, then go ahead. I can't stop you. Guess, guess that's what I, I should do. Because my uncle does not want my happiness. It's okay. You are not the only one your uncle is aggressive on. Based on this, he's attacking his daughters too. So you are not the only one. Hmm? Just... Do what is in your mind. Follow your heart. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> you sent for me. You're not talking. So finally, both of you are getting married? Yes. Just tell me you never loved me all along. I did, but my love for you died after you started acting like a mad woman. I see. Such is life. Change is the only constant thing in life. But I said I'm sorry for everything I did. That's not necessary now. It's no longer important. It's okay. No problem. I'll take my leave now. Okay, bye bye. And I actually came to say a big congratulations to you. Thank you. I actually um find it hard to believe that you left me for that village poor boy. He do enough. That is my husband you are talking about. Your husband to be. He hasn't paid your bride price. Ah. Uh, you know what? You have overstayed your welcome. Please go. Really? Yes, you heard me. Since you came here to insult me, please leave. Oh? And if I say I'm not going, will you push me out? I don't even know why I'm standing here battering words with you. You want to stay here? Stay. Oh? How dare you think of walking out on me? Do you know who I am? You actually want to walk out on me because of that church rat? That boy that is not up to the level of cleaning my shoes? Huh? How am I not even sure that the other day when you called me begging for 5,000 naira was not for him to treat his sick mother? You dare not think on walking out of me again. Do I make myself clear? I'm very sure that one day you will come begging me for food. After you let's, let's, go, let's go of me. That will never ever happen. My God will never ever let it happen. Are you hearing me? As far as I serve a living God, we will be blessed. Yes, we will not ask you for a dime. You know what? Take your rich self. Package your rich self out of my father's compound and never show your face again, okay? Marriage is done by force. Not by force, I don't want. I don't want your money. Go. Don't conclude before your time.
come begging me. Hmm, Both of you are going nowhere. You are not leaving this house to see your cousin's sister, that stupid sister of yours. You are not leaving this house to see that girl. <laughs> what is she going to the market to buy? Other than two tubers of yam. The young man doesn't have money. So it's something that she can handle alone. You, both of you don't need to bother yourself. She can handle it. Uh, two of you, in fact, both of you, will not leave this house for the next two weeks. Just remain there. Mm. Remain there. I'm going nowhere. Remain there for the next two weeks. You'll be inside this house. My love, from the list I have here, which I gave to you people before, item number one says five crates of beer. And what I'm seeing here is just one crate. Item number two is 20 tubers of yam. What I'm seeing here is three. Item number three is three fowls. What you people presented here is one. Item number four is four crates of more. What I'm seeing here is just only one. <laughs> Item number five, 20,000 Naira for the woman. No. Gonna laugh. Okay, it's okay. One piece of wrapper. No. Four gallons of palm wine. No. So what is the problem? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you are in order. Everything you said is correct. You know the tradition. Okay. Uh, but you know, um, we said, let's bring this one first. Um, when we're coming again, we'll make it up. Exactly. Eh? We'll, what, what you're saying is correct, but definitely we'll make it up. Just, you know, help us talk to the moon. Be our mouthpiece for now, please. We're just begging you. Hmm? We have seen you. Help us out. Young man, yes, what do you have to say? Because you don't want to marry. Um, thank you very much, sir. And thank you for the audience you have given us. Yes. Um, my uncle has said it all. The truth is, this is what I can afford for now. But I, I, I promise to uh, make it up once I'm ready to do that. I promise to bring everything exactly. expected of me to bring. Mm. Yes. Okay. Let me take you for your words. I will communicate to my younger ones and make them to see reason with me and your people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can we learn you? Okay, Jenny, fed in we near so that you people can have a smooth drive. We are very, you. We are very we are grateful. Job. Thank you. Last note of warning. Please don't disappoint me. No, 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 no. Disappoint no. me. I will disappoint my younger ones. And then no, I will bring no, no. a big shame. We can never no fail you. Job. Everything will be fine, sir. Take us by our own. Okay. We can never, we can never will come back. Hmm? I will come back. Yes. Yes. Consider it done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell me why you're smiling? Because I have a good idea. Good idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hear it. Um, first of all, mm -hmm. I am very happy that Diokba and the elders accepted the marriage items. Okay. Now, Kim, I want you to go to the city and hustle. To the city? Why? Because there's really no need for you to remain here in the village when you can go to the city and hustle out to be better. You can go with all the money we have. I know it will not be enough, so I don't mind going out to borrow 
So you go to the city. Hmm? That's very kind of you, but what about Mama? Don't worry about Mama. I'm here. I'm here. I will look after Mama. Look after Sochema. Hmm. I know the reason why you're still in the village is because of Mama. Not knowing who to take care of her. But, but I'm here now. We'll be fine. Oh, you need to go to the city for greener pasture. Are you sure? Hmm. Okay. I've heard you. I have a friend. Um, he's a very nice guy. Mm. He stays in the city. He does shoe business. So I'm going to call him and ask him if it's okay for me to come over. <laughs> that means the only thing left is for us to start packing your things. <laughs> okay. Do you know you're a good wife? No, seriously, you're such a good wife. You're very supportive. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for everything. God will bless you. God will bless us. Yes, God will bless us. And if I wasn't married to you, I'd have said you're a wife material. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. But I'm still a wife material. Yes, you are. Your suggestion is a good one. I believe that when Suchima travels out, it will be better for all of us. Mm. Yes, Mama. I have a very strong feeling that Suchima will do away if he travels. Uh -huh. Yes. We grow. God is always there for us. Mama? No. I'll be leaving tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow, Nka? Mm -hmm. uh, so soon? I spoke to my friend. Uh -huh. He said I should come tomorrow. Ah, uh -huh. mm. really? Ha. Eh, Mama, let me quickly go inside and start helping him pack uh, his things. You don't have to rush now. Eh? Eh? <laughs> don't worry, we'll do it together. Okay. Oh. Well, let's go and do it now. Okay, I'm gonna do it together. Well, go, go ahead and do it together <laughs> now. No, it's okay. There's really no time. <laughs> 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 Mama. <laughs> Mama, we just want to pack. Eh, pack about my time. I'll be close. I'll be close. Then pack our well, oh. Mm. Uh, one more. On my how far? How long? How long? Pack it well. It's so nice. Such a moment. Mama. As you embark on this journey, God will go with you. Amen. Your blessings will already be there with you. Really? Mm -hmm. The people that will bless you will be there waiting for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Your blessings, Chai, are already there. God has placed them on the right path. Okay, then I does your book on. Amen. People will always be there for you. Amen. They will look out for you. You will find love in everything you do. Yeah. As you give out love, love will come back to you. Yeah. So, Chima, Mama, for taking care of your mother up to this point, God will bless you. Yeah. You will live in good health of mind and body. You will live to be old and you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. Amen. You have been a wonderful child. And so is your wife. You will come back on again, your grandchildren. You will come back on again, your grandchildren. You will come back on again, You will go in peace, your mom. Amen. I pray your head. Oh. Mama. It's okay, it's okay. Mama. I've never seen you pray like this before. <laughs> How would you know? The one I pray inside my heart and I pray inside the room, you know? I, I, I mean me, you've never prayed for me like this. <laughs> 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 
Woman. Take care of yourself. Oh. Yeah, have to go. We can't even keep you here. Now. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, okay. 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 Always remember to lock the front door. Oh, oh, I'm here. I will lock it. I will be locking the back. Okay. lock Now, bye bye. This is she, Mama. Hi. You to I got a little bit of a little bit of a little a little bit of 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 a little bit you can have a lot. 500,000. 500,000. I'm sorry, I can't sell my mother's land for 500,000. Somebody already offered 700. What, what kind of talk is that? Somebody. So what am I doing here? Bros, I can afford 500. Talk before I change my mind. No, I said I'm not selling for 500. You mean? You? Yes, someone offered me 700. I have not sold it. Can I sell you, bro? I have not sold it. Can you afford 500,000 and you are here? Oh, God, leave this place. I'm not selling. Ah, is it by force? I'm okay now.